Hey there, Ben from UMPC Portal. Um, I just downloaded the new beta of Fennec, which is Mozilla's um, mobile browser, and um, I had my camera out and figured I might do a quick video demo of it. So here's the UX180, a uh, little handheld uh, computer, and I have the Windows version of Fennec running on it in um, portrait mode here. Um, camera makes it a bit hard to capture the screen, but hopefully you'll be able to get the gist of what's going on. I haven't used this. To, uh, I haven't used this for more than five minutes, so you'll be learning with me as we go here. Um, navigation concepts are pretty simple, though. You have the URL bar up here at the top. If you go beyond the page's width, um, off to the right, you pull out this bar, which has um, bookmarking, forward, back, and a little settings button down here. And if you go um, off to the left side, you have tab management. So I'm going to launch a new tab, um, it open a new tab, and immediately put my cursor in the URL bar, which is a nice time saver. You don't have to click in there on your own. Um, no keyboard came up because Fennec is just a browser. It doesn't have anything to do with the keyboard. It's up to the device to provide the keyboard, which luckily we have right here, but we don't have it in the right orientation, but that's okay for testing. So I've already gone to one website before. Um, I just typed in UMPC. Um, and it has a few results that I've been to before, so we can go to UMPC Portal, which is pulled up automatically. And that's pretty quick pop-in, though the page is already cached. Um, but the loading seems pretty good. This is pretty powerful hardware, though, so um, we'll see how it is on something like the N810, which is a little bit smaller and slower. Um, so here's UMPC Portal. Touch um, scroll is built right in. It's got inertia on it looks nice, it's smooth, you see that um, that iPhone-like um, uh, thing come up when you scroll beyond the boundaries of the immediate cached area and then it loads in, it's that little checkerboard pattern. Um, so scrolling looks good, I can look all around the page, obviously multi, there is no multi-touch zooming for this because it's uh, not supported and I'm not sure if that's actually built into Fennec at this point or if it will be, but double tap to zoom does work. Um, I'm pretty sure it grabbed onto that column of content automatically and zoomed in there. So that's pretty nice. Um, and double tapping again will zoom it out. So far, um, zooming seems nice, but um, it doesn't seem to zoom right into where you double tap. Um, so here is the front page of your PC portal, and this post is called the Morristown Vision. I'm going to double click right on the text in that area, and it's that's actually now moved up and I had to scroll back to get that content back to my screen. Um, but let's have a look at some of the other things. Hmm, let me find if, uh, see if I can find a uh, video on here so we can look at the flash support, actually. In the Morristown Vision article, we can have that. Alright, so here's three YouTube embedded videos which don't seem to be popping up right at this moment. Hmm. Nope, they don't seem to be working right now. Let me see if I can get it to you directly to YouTube and get it to work. Nope, it looks like the page is fully loaded, but I've just got a black box right there. Uh, again, this is beta software, so I I wouldn't I would chalk that up to just some buggy software um, with my particular hardware. I'm sure it'll probably be working in the full release version. So here I've pulled up uh, the Google Reader mobile page which is google.com slash i or I'm sorry google.com slash reader slash i and um, it's loaded uh, a list of my pages here or I'm sorry my content here and if I tap on the title it launches them open just like it should just like I'm used to uh, which works pretty well. Let's check a look at the um, let's have a look at the full version of Google Reader. So obviously this isn't um, really as uh, dedicated or focused on being able to use mobily, but it seems to be um, fully rendered, which is excellent. And I mean, it looks just like my desktop version. I can go into my categories and launch individual um, pieces of content there. So Fennec looks great. Um, excited for the full stable release um, 
looking forward to flash playback working properly. Um, hopefully uh, later versions will fix that on my hardware. I know I saw a video demo earlier of it um, working properly on the N810. Um, I like the tab management ideas and um, just the general UI of taking of using the um, space next to the actual web content to uh, manage your stuff. And if I didn't point out earlier, um, if we go to a page like UMPC Portal, um, the URL bar, once fully loaded, will roll off the top um, to give you that extra space, which on a screen like this, which is um, 1024 tall in this orientation, um, not so important, but when you're on something like the N810, which is only um, 800 by 480, I believe, um, that's going to give you a, a little bit of extra space, which is, which is always good. So that rolls off uh, very similar to the iPhone. Inertia scroll looks really good. Um, looking forward to this, as I said, for upcoming uh, mobile devices.